hard. Highways will be un unhappy with that. Be okay. I touched it. So this fence, a bit dodgy, we reinforced it a couple of weeks ago just to keep it upright but everything's falling off it. It was uh, sort of on the ground, lying on the ground from here downwards. So we're replacing this one today. Um, it's just shy of four foot high uh, with these waves in it. Um, we want to do a better job than the people that did the other side. Uh, clients not happy with that, even though that was only done a few years ago. So we want to get a nice consistent curve in the top and replace it to a, a good standard. So we'll get the rip out done now and then we'll go from there. So we are ripping the feather edge off, which isn't taking too much. We get the fence back to a bare shell. Just the rails and the very dodgy posts. These are the round posts we used to reinforce it temporarily a couple of weeks ago. So we'll unbolt those in a minute and get the fence gone. So the client has just said to me, when I knock on the door, if he likes what we do here, we'll be doing that. Oh, what, that other side? Yep. I think so. I think so. Right, so most of the fence is out. We're just looking for a pair of slips, or we've got the angle grinder if that fails. We've got Jake getting the first post in, and then we'll look to get the last post in up the other end, and then we'll work our string line off that. holding up this wire just to make it safe they're starting on the post holes down that end just all this stuff this is going to be the other end post so we want to make sure that that's in and ready to go and that way we can get a nice string line and go straight up the fence line and this would appear to be sort of built into the log store or something like that. So what we'll do is we'll take it off here, leave this post, because it is nice and solid. It's been undercover, it's been dry its whole life. Take these rails out uh, and then replace them with, with ones here. But for now, we want to get this post replaced as quickly as possible. So we've got the line for the fence all the way up. <sighs> Can I get a hand down here to Get this last bit off. Because <laughs> um, yep. we need to do that other end post before we set any others apart from that one. There it goes around so we are health and safety in mind. Yep. And we also really love our tools. Excellent. Well done. Needed safety goggles. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I think we're set now. Are we going to post here? Sure. Like we're going to post. The last one came out of somewhere in here. So we'll go as far that way as we can and do the post. I'll put it in front of that trellis. Well, we're going to need another one as well. We can't span all that. No. I meant just to get going. Yeah. 
You can get one in here. You can put one in here, I think. Is it so? And it says actual vent for something. Yep. It's probably cool. that. Yep. Uh, in which case, maybe I'll just take one of these slabs up. Mm. Yeah, we've got to have something in the middle here regardless, so. Can we not bump to the wall? No. 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 Should be slightly off the wall because we need to get a gravel board between the wall and the post. So if down there they put it hard up against the wall, we're going to need to move it out. Okay, so we've established that the post down there is fine. We've got people in their filthy habits. So it's going to work on taking one of these slabs up. So we want these fairly tight to the wall. I think on some of these, we're gonna have to like, you know, yeah, this one and a few others, we're gonna have to grab those buckets, scoop into the buckets. That might as well go in the van. <coughs> oh, loads of them. So we can get posts, Post, post crate here. This post all needs to come out. Um, and then I think all the stuff that's there, if we push all that back, we should be able to get our string line up. Okay, so time is 9.16. We have the entire fence out. We've got the two posts on the ends, in and set. We've got quite a few of the holes dug. We're going down to about two foot, ideally a little bit more, but we're hitting the footings for the wall here. So we're going as low as we can, as deep as we can to give these posts the maximum strength. We have gone for nine foot posts here, trying to get them in as deep as possible. We will have to cut the tops off all of them, but that's not too much of an issue. Uh, all the posts are marked out. Just doing a final tidy on the pavement here. And we'll work on pruning a couple of these bits, getting them away. They're hanging over the path anyway, so they need to go. I've got a job for you, Ben. Oh, is it horrible? Yeah. Thanks. What I want you to do, see where that green bit's hanging over, just want you to prune it back to the fence line. Is that all right? Seeing as you carry secretaires around at all times. <laughs> see, handy, mate, even on facing jobs, handy. Yep. Don't even do it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up there. Well. Up there. Or here. It's got a silky, yeah. Well, to be honest, we can't have it hanging over the path. You know, highways will be un unhappy with that because large men like this one will walk straight into ah, it. Ah, I lost my eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, a bit further around. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Yeah. Do you, mate? Yep. Beautiful, clean cuts. So when I'm uh, putting the string line on, I'll hook it on the screw and then I'll go completely around the post like this. And that way it stays on the post instead of just putting it on like that. And then when anybody bumping it, it can come out. Does that make sense? So I'll do that completely around the post and then we can work it up the fence. We won't put it up where they're currently digging because it will be right in the way. But we can move it up in that direction at least. Got some 
strike from two. Who's a strong boy? Oh boy. Me. <laughs> they all look hungry, so we're gonna go and get them some breakfast. On the back, leave me out of it. Vegetarian ones. Why are you smoking again? It's only vape. It's smoking. Yeah, it looks like they want more as well. Where do you expect us to go? Oh, I was thinking granary. No. We guess it, but then I saw more on the back. On the back. So we've got back. Yeah. He wants the other side doing as well. Yeah, I know he said that to me this morning, but. Yeah, he wasn't doing today. Today? Well, that, yeah, that's not going to happen, is it? He said, can you just give him a knock? Yeah, it's going to be very similar. Easier access there. Basically, what I said I was like, we're not obviously going to be matching that, and he was like, oh. Because that's. <laughs> well, yeah, because I was like, it goes up and down and stuff. He's like, oh, went in, then he come back out, like, oh yeah, man. then can you do the other side? He said, where's the one with the dodgy Australian accent? <laughs> nice. Did you buy? Sausage rolls. Mmm. Sausage the pork rolls one. for everyone. The pigs in blanket one. Distribute them. Between me and Connie, yeah? Mmm. Right. So we'll look at this side. Twenty seven, twenty eight meters. Twenty eight? Yeah, twenty seven, twenty eight. To be honest, I reckon there's half a chance that you'll be able to pull those out. Well, I'm making forward the whole concrete ball will come out because these posts aren't that old. It's only five years old or something, four years old. Yeah. And she had a bunch of cowboys that did it, so. Yeah, so so all the post holes are dug for the most part. Yeah. Okay, we might need to make a few adjustments. Uh, it yeah. looks like this wall at least is fairly straight. Uh, and then while we were having a quick bite to eat, <coughs> The customers called into the office and said they'd like the other side done as well. Um, so we're providing them with a quote for that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then that will that will be coming up. Um, at this point, probably in the new year. But post holes are dug, fence is out, quarter past ten, and we've had some lunch, Moore's pasties. Right, I guess if we get one team setting posts from each end. 17 posts that we've set so far that you dug yeah 18 yeah 18 makes sense because up there already... we're kind of missing one because we're attaching reattaching to that shed do we have another bucket yeah if you want to get a couple of people or yeah or just set them all set alternate posts and you've both got the hose bucket, yeah. because yeah then we can start actually building a fence whilst they're setting the rest of the post yeah yeah so we'll start from here and work our way up this way, yep. then we'll be fine. Right, so uh, time is 11.35, so we've got a lot of the rails uh, ready to go and marked. We've got most of the gravel board on already, all the posts are in, all nice and straight, all looking really good. Some of those rails are a bit bendy, but by the time we screw them to the posts, uh, they'll straighten themselves out pretty quickly. And we've got the gravel board sitting just above the top of the wall the wall top of the wall is not quite straight so we want to get this as straight as possible so we went through with a string line and marked it liam's really happy with his new tool he's got all these on and marked so they're all ready to go 
and we've got our curve built uh, so there's about a hundred mil difference from the ends to the center Okay, midday, the last of the rails are going on. Now, a little bit interesting, you look down there, it doesn't quite seem perfectly straight. It seems a little bit wavy with the rails. It's a natural bend in the rails, and they're never gonna be dead straight. However, you look from across the road, or where anyone's gonna view the fence from, absolutely perfect. So you can see all of those rails, they look bang on just about dead straight. All right, time is 12.30. Tops of the posts are cut off. All the way down. We're just putting a couple of slabs back. The feather edge is going on really nicely. Fence can't be more than two meters. I'm side a public highway at the moment. It's a little bit over two meters, so we're gonna cut a few inches off and then we'll go through and put the curves in using our jig we've made. So all going really well, just cutting those slabs up that end. Right, time is 20 past one. Over halfway on the feather edge. We're getting it cut down so that the top of it is pretty much exactly two meters above the path. So you've got your maximum privacy. We will be cutting the curves out of that. So it should all look pretty good. They're making excellent progress. Down here, hopefully another 45 minutes. Feather edging will be done.
Right, 20 to 5. It's dark now, but we've got all the waves cut in the top of the fence. So all we've got to do is the top cap on top of the fence now. The battens we brought with us to do that are slightly too thick, so we're going to go and get some thinner ones tomorrow and pop them on. All right, that is this one done. The client was so happy when he came out and had a look at it. He's asked us to do the one on the other side. So we should be getting that done in the not too distant future. Here's what we'll be taking out. Been there for quite a while. None of these curves are even, so we should be able to make a massive improvement to this. Like and subscribe.